Well, it's exciting. You know, in regional play, it doesn't matter what ballpark you go to. The, the great thing for us is that we've been here before. We have a comfort zone, and uh, and that we've seen the ballpark. You know, you get Xavier or, or Kansas State that haven't been here. It's a different deal, but uh, it's a great venue, good place to play. We'll have a good crowd, and uh, so we're looking forward to it. Wayne Graham was quoted the other day as saying that Samuelson State was the best number four seed in the nation, and if you asked any other team in Texas, they would agree. How does that make you feel to hear something like that from a coach like Wayne Graham? Well, that's a nice compliment. You know, I, the NCAA's got their hands full putting all, all of it together, and it's tough for them because uh, trying to keep the three and four in a location where they, they don't have to spend a lot of money on travel, and so, uh, you know, a, but it's a nice comment. Uh, you know, it doesn't make, we don't get any extra runs for it. So. You know, the way it is. Uh, what do you know about the other yeah. teams in the tournament, Xavier and Kansas State? Well, I got to watch the first game, part of the first game, um, and Kansas State really can put pressure on. They create an offense. If you let the leadoff guy get on, they like to do a lot of hit and runs, a lot of running. Both Xavier and Kansas State have a lot of stolen bases, so they'll put a lot of pressure on creating an offense, uh, try to speed the game up, uh, those type of things. But. Uh, Kansas State obviously is a uh, well journeyed team for the Big 12. They've done well in the Big 12, so I don't think they're going to see a lot of things that they haven't seen uh, just from their in season play. And uh, don't know a lot about Xavier. Uh, you know, we, we did get a scouting report on them, and, uh, you know, very complimentary scouting report. But just looking at the stats, uh, you know, everybody belongs. Everybody's got good fielding percentages, and, you know, all of them, uh, you can look at the stats and understand this is a pretty good team. How do you carry the momentum that you guys built up with your run through the conference tournament, knocking off the number one seed in Texas State, really handling them very well, that, and especially with the rain delay and everything? How do you carry that kind of momentum into the region? Well, you, it's a hard task. You know, you want to hold on to it, and really the first part of the first game has something to do with it. You know, if we can get off to a good start, uh, get that feel. Uh, if we have to create the feel and work on it, uh, you know, usually good things create the feel. <laughs> so you need good things to happen and if bad things don't happen. But I, I don't think we'll quit. I don't, I don't think uh, we'll continue to fight for those moments. Uh, we played a lot of ball games this, uh, this spring. So uh, I think uh, it's very fresh in our mind what it's like to play at a higher level. And I think uh, our guys believe they can get to it. And, and that's it. And, uh, but truly, uh, you need some good things to happen some things and the game's got to give you a couple opportunities and, but no, we've worked on it we tried to stay loose and tried to identify well what we did well and tell the guys and, uh, so they know exactly these are the keys and we need to get to this spot and, uh, and I, I don't uh, I really think the guys would be excited about playing whether we play well all those things it just depends on the game but uh, I know they're excited about playing I don't think they're going to be intimidated by anybody but we'll face a tough pitcher tonight I mean he's He's done very well you know, all year for him, so he's got uh, good numbers.